Hello, mathletes. I had to record outside today because it's a beautiful day and I had to get some sun. And I want to come to you with uh, something I'm, I'm reading, um, Anxious for Nothing by Max Locato. An excellent writer, right? Awesome, powerful stuff here. I recommend the book uh, to anyone out there. And something that very important that I pulled from the book uh, that applies directly to math is and also determines whether you know uh, how you're going to do in that math class and your anxiety level that so many people uh, struggle with uh, when they're taking a math course and it talks about belief and belief always precedes behavior he discusses and I notice it with thousands of um, my students and what I see right often time and time again it seems like it never fails is if a student believes that he or she can in the beginning or at some point then what happens is when they hit that wall when they get stuck right they manage to find a way to get unstuck or use resources and devote time to tackle that problem right they don't just quit there they find a way uh, to overcome that obstacle. And it has to go to their beliefs, right? They have a belief inside of them uh, that's letting them know, you know what, I can do this and it's just going to be a matter of time. Versus the other group who if they have this false tense of they can't, right? And it is a false tense, uh, a, a false uh, feeling. Then what happens is they hit that same problem right and then they just quit they stop and so we have to ask ourselves which camp are we in and which camp do we want to be in how do we move to that camp of belief if you're not there and often um, they, those same students might not even challenge themselves to those problems uh, examples of of this currently is i'll go into i'll have uh, dozens of students and then We'll say, all right, we're going to we're going to work uh, uh, in groups on these problems. And then all of a sudden, uh, quite a few of them will vanish. Right. They'll exit the meeting. Um, and again, it, it ties into they might not realize it or you might not realize it, but it ties into this idea of belief. All right. And again, it's so huge and it plays upon our anxiety as well. Here's a great study that he talks about um, that psychologists did uh, from soldiers from War World War uh, II. And uh, let me just read this real fast. So they determined that after 60 days of continuous combat, the ground troops became emotionally dead, right? So soldiers endured a constant threat from bomb blitzes, gun, uh, machine guns, and enemy sli uh, snipers. And of course, it was no surprise. But check this out. Um, the and these were from uh, the ground troops that felt this way, right? So, of course, they're emotionally done. Uh, on the comparative calm of fighter pilots, however, right, their mortality rate was amongst the highest in combat, but their, the levels of anxiety were the complete opposite. They had a lot less anxiety. 50% of them were killed in action, yet dogfighters loved their work. An astonishing 93% uh, percent of them claimed to have uh, to be happy in their assignments, even though the odds of their survival rate were the same as a toss of a coin. What was the difference? Those pilots had their hands on the throttle. They sat in the cockpit. They felt that their fate was theirs to determine. Infantry men, by contrast, could easily be killed standing still or running away. They felt forlorn and hope, uh, helpless, right? So the formula is simple. Perceived control creates calm. Lack of control gives birth to fear. So if you fear you have no control of, say, learning or of a situation, right that's where the fear starts to creep in and so belief always precedes behavior 
So the main thing we want to do when you're in a, a learning environment, when you're in any environment, right, you got to have that belief um, that, you know, you can do it. All right. So that's the message f uh, for today, folks. And again, here's a great book, uh, Anxious for Nothing. And I just wanted to relate it to, you know, math class. And so the thing I encourage so many of you to do that are struggling with math or struggling with math anxiety is make sure you change that on switch, right? Get rid of that, that disbelief, right? Because once you believe, it's pretty darn amazing what you're capable of doing. All right, mathletes, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I just thought I'd share this message with you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.